Australian Open 2009 produced a gruelling men's semi-final between Spanish left-handers Rafael Nadal and Fernando Vadasco. The top seed sailed into the last four without dropping a set, while Vadasco had to overcome Andy Murray and Joe Wilfried Songa along the way. The 15th seed squandered a chance to go 3-1 up in the first set when he missed an easy put-away. We join the action at the beginning of a first set tiebreak. Aces now for the number 14 seed. <laughs> oh, just remarkable stuff. Yeah. The other one down the tee. This whole set, the entire set has been on the racket of Vadasco. He has been the man, 22 winners against eight winners so far for Nadal. And he's made 20 unforced errors against the measly five from Nadal. But it's been Vadasco that has to make everything happen. He's been the man that's trying to take the attack to Nadal. And what a first set this has been. This is as good as any final you're gonna see, folks. I don't care whether Federer is playing it or not. This has just been electrifying stuff. The set of the championship so far, you would think. And we're back on serve in the tie break. It's been on a knife's edge now for one hour and 11 minutes. Oh, no, you're kidding me. That shot was not on, and he shanks this return. And look where look where Nadal is, and the, the angle that he creates. just poked this one back into play and uh, teased his opponent. He came in and that's the overhead. He missed that one for 3-1. Destiny may be here. 
for this one, and there's nothing that Nadal can do. He had the shot covered, but when that one hits the tape and falls over, there's the apologies. But hey, I'll take the set points. Nadal struck back in the second set to level the match at a set apiece. We rejoin the action deep in the third set with Vadasco beginning to tire. They fight it out to see who's going to battle Roger Federer in the Australian Open final in 48 hours. Doesn't get any easier, does it? No. I think Roger would be enjoying this, although what he wouldn't be enjoying is that whoever he meets on Sunday night is going to be at the top of his game because this has been one exceptional match. New balls for Vadasco. Well, he's answering a few questions right now, isn't he? Vadasco. New balls and away they go. Nuts for sure. Had that one too. Spots. Off that 136. Good change up. It's probably your slowest serve of the night. when you just have a crack at one at 40 love if it goes in it keeps you in the game and something can happen that was a huge swing from Nadal 40 love but it may keep him in the game 40 so does it go for pace or placement here? Pace. And plenty of it. 2 11. And for the second time in the semi final, we're going to have a set decided by the tie break. Both players receive one additional challenge. This is Russian roulette to see who leads two sets to one. And one of the turning points of that first set, of course, a little bit of luck when Vadasco got the dead net cord to bring up all those set points. After all the skill and courage that they've shown, an ounce of luck could count for just as much here. First set tie break and was able to recover. Three one. 
Just what Nadal had to do with his two serves. It's non-negotiable here. He must win these two points. two in that rally to go back to the forehand so he's hurting a little bit now boy he jumped onto that in a hurry and that's as big a forehand as he hit all night assumed control of this match for a little while now now it's official it's two sets to one the ailing Vadasco sought medical attention on his leg throughout the fourth set but willed himself into another tie break we rejoin the action with Nadal looking to book his spot in the AO final for the first time the number one player in the world. Unreal forehand this. Too low and he's going for broke. And he finds the line again. Forehand winner number 31. an Australian playing here. Their emotions have ebbed and flowed just like the players and some of them standing. I don't think anyone saw this coming in the tie break. Five sets looks a formality now. The 
Dasko hitting the ball with the pace as though it was the second or third game of the match. It wouldn't really matter whether it's 7-zip or 7-1 or 7-2, but it might just be a psychological thing if he can whitewash him in this tie break. Oh, he tried it. <laughs> oh, that's not about average. He's, he's clocked about, he's clocked seven of them and he's hit six in, so that's pretty good. Four hours and 20 minutes. They're on their feet. Everybody on their feet, standing ovation after set number four. Despite his fourth set heroics, Vadasco still had a mountain to climb in order to reach the final. We rejoin the action in the decider with games on serve at 4-3. Just closing in on five hours, that's just a remarkable performance from both athletes. As I say, there's not much more we can say in one of those magic matches. The rest of the world's on the edge of their seat, watching this too. Not enough. No. He didn't do enough. With the forehand down the middle of the court rather than near the line. And that allowed Nadal to stay in the point. This shot here. And that was not a good volley. That's a gimme as far as Nadal's concerned. He's all over that. at 184 points each after all this time this backhand finds the net one more point for Rafa and he can serve for a place in the final for them all night and another big point wasn't going to stop him 218k that serve and then a couple of blistering forehands so Vadasco now leads 185 points to 184 <laughs> Vadasco has been able to see off four break points already in this set Surely the law of averages is starting to come into play here. Three for 17 on break points, Nadal. He would be disappointed with that. Uh. 
Watch out. The Dasco's ability to dig himself out of dangerous and volatile situations in this match has been absolutely remarkable. That one in at 212 for the second time in this set. In a single game, he sees off two break points. That's five for the set. And we'll level again. Well, it appears that we're going to be part of the longest match played here at the Australian Open. The longest one to date was five hours and 11 minutes. And we're at five hours and nine minutes right now. And listen to this crowd. What a remarkable performance from these two fellows. to be the longest rally of the match. And we've been out here for five hours and 11 minutes right now. Just toe to toe, and they're still at it. 29 straight rally, the longest of the match. And here it is. It's all too familiar, this scenario. So many times it seemed as though Nadal was going to be able to get on top. And so many times Vadasco has been able to answer back. And he finds it in himself to do it again just once more. for more than five hours tonight to produce one of the greatest matches the Australian Open has seen.